Hello everyone, this is Rahul Malhotra from SFDC Stop and welcome to another video tutorial in the Salesforce integration tutorial series. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a test class for a SOAP web service that we created in Apex. So if you remember in the last tutorial what we did, we actually created a SOAP web service uh, in our org which is named as contact resource and uh, it, it uh, actually had a method named as contact, get contact ID and names which was taking an integer as a parameter and we were we were actually using this integer to query some of the contacts from our org and we were returning this list of contacts in the response so let me show you uh, how uh, it was developed so it, it is a very simple class named as contact resource uh, which has a global keyword and uh, we have a method named as get contact id and names so it is actually accepting contact limit as an as a parameter and then it is querying the contacts with that contact limit so let's say i i specify five as the contact limit so five contacts are actually queried and uh, i am returning the list of contacts that i queried in the response so how i actually converted this into a custom soap api i just added a web service keyword uh, with the method and uh, a custom soap api was created so if you want to know in detail how we actually use this and how we created a custom SOAP API, you can refer to the previous tutorial. So I actually tested it using SOAP UI. So when I, uh, you know, added a session ID here and I added a contact limit as five. So I was able to uh, fetch or query five contacts from my org in the, in the response. So here are the five contacts that are queried using my custom SOAP API. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial, I'm going to create a test class for this custom SOAP API class. So the test class for the custom SOAP API class is, uh, is exactly the same as we create any other test class. So we don't need to do anything. So we just need to uh, cover this code like we cover any other method of a normal class. So this is a test class that I created for this contact resource class. So I'm just going to copy and I'm going to create a new test class in my Salesforce org. So its name is contact resource test. Sorry, I need to create a new test class. So file a new Apex class named as contact resource test. And uh, I'm going to paste my code here. And then I'm going to run this test class. So as you can see here that my test is executed successfully. And if I check my coverage, so my method is properly covered. So, you know, when we are creating a SOAP, custom SOAP API in Apex, then from our side, it's just a, it's just a simple class with a method that is accepting some parameter and receiving some, and you know, returning some response or returning some data, I should say. So in case of a test class also, we have to cover it like a simple, a simple Apex class, like we cover a simple Apex class. So there is no difference uh, when we talk about covering a test class or creating a test class in case of our custom SOAP API in Apex. So what I did here in, I actually created a, a contact resource test class with the annotation of is test. I created a make data method, which uh, has an annotation of test setup. So whenever you define any uh, method uh, in a test class, so I mean, you can define only one method in a test class with the annotation of test setup. And uh, it is actually responsible for creating the test data. So right now, uh, in case if, if I need to create a test class, sorry, test data. So I actually created five contacts in my org and I inserted them so that uh, this is the test data which is going to be used by the test methods of this test class. So I just, uh, you know, initialize a new list of contacts. I actually uh, created uh, a new contact each time with the same name and I actually added that contact to the contact list and then I inserted uh, all the contacts at, at uh, using a single DML statement actually. So this is a test method which is actually used to test my get contact ID and names method which is defined in my actual class. So uh, this is my actual class and this is the get contact ID and names method. So I'm creating a test method for this. And uh, it has an is test annotation. So either you can add this annotation or you can, uh, you know, uh, add a test method keyword over here. 
So what I have inside this method, I have first of all test or start test so that my test is starting. At the end, I have test or stop test so that uh, my test is stopped. And uh, between uh, this start test and stop test method calling, I have I have actually called my actual method which is contact to source dot get contact ID and names. So this is my class name contact to source and the method name is get contact ID and names. And uh, I have passed the contact limit as a parameter in the method call. So the parameter I have given right now is one. So out of the five contacts that uh, I am creating in my org, I am only going to uh, query one method using one contact using this method. And uh, the list of contacts that are returned is stored in return contact list. And uh, after that, I have added some simple asserts like the return contact list is not should not be equal to null. It card return contact list dot size should be equal to one. And if I talk about the contact name, because if you remember uh, in the query, I was querying the name also, so I can use this. So if I talk about the contact name, then the name uh, should be Rahul Malhotra because this is the test data that I created in my org so that's how you can create a that's how you can create a test class for a soap web service that is for a custom web soap web service that was defined in epix right so uh, i mean there's no difference actually you can just create it like any other any other test class so we got we actually created a test class and we got 100 percent coverage for this uh, actual class which is actually used as a soap api Okay, so I think uh, yeah, that's all for this tutorial everyone. If you like this, do let me know uh, your feedback in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Let's connect in the other tutorial. However, if you want to uh, if you want to get access to the code, you can go to my blog and you can check out the GitHub repository. The link is given in the blog. Um, it's here. So you, it will be under the SOAP API branch of my SFDC integration tutorial repository. You will find the SOAP API class as well as the test class. And uh, if you want to have a look at all the integration tutorials, you can either check out the YouTube playlist or you can uh, go to my blog and check out the tutorial series. I have also tutorials for connecting with Salesforce, connecting to Salesforce with Postman or SOAP UI. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.